Hello and welcome to the tutorial section of the Forest Ecosystem Monitoring Cooperative Portal. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to use code lists to further describe any of your dataset fields. This is useful if you have any fields that use codes such as species or locations. A code list will define each code used in your field so that others not familiar with your data can understand it. Start off by opening the dataset that you are interested in adding a code list to. This dataset uses FIA tree species codes, which are understandable if you've worked with this type of data, but others may have a hard time understanding it. Let's head into the Dataset Attributes Management screen found in the Navigation menu to the left. Another way to get there is by going into the Dataset Management Home link and then Attributes and Fields. From here, you'll see a list of all the fields that make up your data set. Select the field that you would like to add a code list to and click Edit. We are going to update the species code list. Here, you are able to update any information about your field. Currently, there is no code list associated with this field. To add a code list, you want to switch it from false to true. And then add the list type. You have the option to add a code list for spatial locations, taxonomic units for organisms, or a custom codes list. The simplest type of list to add would be a custom code list, which only requires a code and meaning column. Taxonomic and location code lists are more detailed, requiring some additional information. We are going to use a custom codes list. Once you've updated and reviewed your information, click Save. Back in the Field Details page, select Manage List next to Code Lists. From here you have a few options. You can add an entirely new list, edit an existing list associated with this data set, but be aware that making any edits to an existing list will alter the list for any other field associated with it. Lastly, you can duplicate an existing list. You would select this option if you want to edit an existing code list specifically for this field without altering it in another field. We are going to go ahead and add a new list. You have two options. You can upload a CSV file or enter the code list data by hand. We are going to go ahead and upload a CSV file. From here, you can either format your CSV file yourself or download the pre-made template, fill that out with your data, and then upload that file. Before submitting your data, view it to make sure it looks correct. If you have a header, check the file contains header box. Before submitting your data, be sure to view it to make sure it looks correct by hitting the preview button. Once you've verified everything looks correct, hit the submit button. I'll go ahead and add another code list. Once you've added all your code lists, let's see what it looks like on the public site. Once you're in your data set, you want to select metadata, and then scroll down and look for the field that you've just added the code list to. Here you'll notice that I added code lists to the land use code and the species column. Click on the show button to view the code list. 